So how long does it actually take to buy a house? Well, stay tuned. We're going to go over the entire timeline from contract to close. I'm Alex Saldana, and I've helped hundreds of homeowners, buyers, and investors since 2012. And on this channel, we go over a lot of the simple questions that people might have that they don't know the answer to or is not easily found. But we also go over a lot more complex strategies for investing, selling, buying, to try to help navigate you through everything real estate. And today we're going to cover what the time frame is actually like for buying a house. Is it three months, six months, a year? It's broken down into two big blocks, and that's pre-buying, and then once you have it under contract, the time to actually get it to close. Let's just start with the pre-contract work, and then we'll walk you through the entire timeline. The pre-contract phase of your house hunt, step number one is really going to be getting pre-qualified, right? Now, this is going to tell you how much you can afford. Now, why is this so important? Everybody wants to go out and look at houses. It's so much fun. However, what inevitably always happens is that you start looking for a house a little bit too soon, and then you fall in love with something later to find out that you might not be able to afford it. Getting pre-qualified or pre-approved for a loan from a mortgage broker can generally take just a few days if you have all your paperwork together. But on the long end, one to two weeks if you got to get tax information and other documents, bank statements together. During the same time as getting pre-approved for a loan, you're probably reaching out to other real estate agents or asking friends or family for agent referrals. And that process can be about the same timeline as getting your pre-approval, anywhere from a day or two up to a couple of weeks if you really want to take them through an interview process. Just make sure when you pick your agent, you know they've got a track record, it's someone you like and trust, and that your personality is just more than anything else. Now the next piece, which is probably the most obvious and the most time variable, is the actual house hunt. Going and looking at houses, seeing what you like, what you don't like. Now when you go through this process, you're really going to want to have dialed in what your needs are, what your wants are. I have a rigorous form that my clients fill out, so that way our goal is to show between five to ten houses. And the reason why I say that is because if we have to go much beyond that, it either means A, the market is super crazy and everything's getting multiple offers. That's that's one scenario, right? Which no one can avoid that. But on the other side, it might mean that we don't actually have your wants and needs dialed in. We should know if that house works for you before even stepping foot in it. The price point works, the beds, bath configuration works, the outside area works for you, the location, all of that. And then we go look at the properties. So this process can take, once again, anywhere from a few days if you happen to come across the right one when you're starting to look and once you've gotten pre-approved, or it can take up to a handful of months even if there's not a lot of inventory out there and you're struggling to find exactly what you want at the price point. Now the wonderful day has come. You've found your perfect house that is at least an 80% match. And when I say 80%, I mean that's our goal when you're looking for a house is fitting 80% of your buy boxes because you're never going to find the 100% home. Okay, maybe not, never. Maybe some of you have found it out there, but more than likely, most people, 80% still is a fantastic forever home even. Here's the fun part. You go, you put out an offer on a property. This first part of the contract phase should be quick. It should be one to two days to actually have both parties sign, negotiate back a little bit, and see, you know, are they going to give any seller concessions on things, or ask for a lower price, or even overbid if it's in a hot market. But that should still only take a couple of days max. Now, once you're under contract, there's going to be a number of things to do. There's a whole lot of hurry up and wait when you go under contract. But right away, a day after you're under contract on the property, you're going to want to get the home inspections ordered. And typically, I always suggest getting a full home inspection, which is usually three to six hundred dollars, depending, having a sewer line scoped, which is usually about one hundred and fifty to two hundred bucks, and then having the radon tested as well. And this part of the process is generally anywhere from 7 to 14 days once you get under contract to do all your inspections, to get all the reports back, and then potentially ask the seller for any health or safety items that don't work for you. 
Now, generally, even during the inspection period or maybe right after that, your lender who's collecting documents from you, bank statements, credit card statements, W-2s, all that good stuff, uh, they will then order the appraisal. And appraisals are usually one to two weeks out from the appraiser going to the property, checking out things. If it's an FHA loan, they go through a little checklist of things that have to be done in order to purchase the house. And this process can take a couple of weeks as well. But we're still within about the three week timeline of being under contract. So inspections and appraisals generally overlap, but the appraisal happens a little bit after the inspection. So you've made it through inspections, you've made it through the appraisal, and hopefully everything went well there. Now there's a waiting game. Now is when the lender goes through the final underwriting to get you your clear to close. And after the appraisal, that is about another one week to get the clear to close. So the entire time frame looks something like this. Day one is getting under contract, doing a little negotiation. Then getting the inspections done, that takes about a week or two. Ordering the appraisal within that inspection time window to happen after the inspection. So we're talking, we're on week three now approximately, and then another week to get the clear to close to fund the deal. And then closing happens where everybody gets together and you sign documents. And that is the actual fun part where keys get handed over and you're now a new homeowner on week four. So on average, I would say about 30 days is the average closing for a traditional type of loan. If you're a cash buyer, you can close within a couple of weeks. FHA loans, sometimes can take a little bit longer, but you're still on that four to five week period. Same thing with VA loans. Um, so anytime you're looking to purchase a house, just keep in mind about 30 days is the average time to close on a property. And there you have it. That's the time frame to purchase property. And hopefully during this, you got some really good people in your corner fighting for you, keeping you on track to make this process as smooth as possible. And once again, I'm here. If you've got any questions, reach out, let me know. And until the next time, happy housing.